Good morning and welcome to another edition of Mountain Bar Outdoors. My name is Keith and this morning I'd like to have a very, very quick chat with you before I go to work about UK carry knives and multi-tools. Um, I'm not going to get into the um, the law aspect side of things, but I will post a link in the description for the government website where you can find out all the information you need for yourself. So without further ado, because I'm keeping it short and sweet this morning, um, so you've got single blade options like this uh, Victorinox florist knife. It's um, single blade only, it's chisel ground. As you can see on the back, my camera will focus. Um, about fifteen pounds. Slim profile, quite easy to carry. Nothing particularly exciting. Be limited to one single blade. Um, so if I move that one out of the way, I'll bring up the next one. The next one's actually a real beast. And um, to be honest, I'm surprised. A lot of people have commented they're surprised it's UK legal. It's the um, Lansky World Legal. Um, so. Technically speaking, yes, it is legal because it's a sub three inch cutting blade. However, it is thick, it is aggressive, and the um, the back spring on it is incredibly strong. I'll just show you the thickness of the actual tool itself. It's a big old thick lump of steel. It's a CR seven thirteen MOV, I think. Um, and so you've got this weird reverse sort of grind thing on it. It's um, it does come sharp, you can strop it on your belt to sharpen it up a little bit more. However, as you can see on the, um, the right, it says Williamson Urban Tactical. I think if I was stopped carrying this in public, I think I'd be in a lot of trouble with the police. I mean, it is UK legal in the strictest sense of the word. However, I don't think I'd feel comfortable carrying this sort of round about town and that. So the backspring on it then, it's incredibly stiff, so I'll try and close it without snapping it shut my fingers. So you literally grab hold of it. That's a nice, strong, positive snap to close the blade. You do get a, um, a pocket clip carry thing though, which you can remove if you wish to. So moving swiftly on then, guys. Um, any Spyderco fans out there will be disappointed with the majority of the range because it is, um, they do lock, with the exception of a few different models. Such as this one, the Spyderco UK Legal. So this is an FRN handle, so that's fiberglass reinforced nylon. The blade is N690 bowler steel, so it should hold quite a good edge. The actual blade itself is flat ground, as you can see, which makes it very, very good for slicing cuts. There's some um, jimping on the back of the blade towards the top, and you can rest your index finger, there's a chawl on the bottom as well, so you get a nice nice positive grip on that. Makes it brilliant for slicing cuts. You can open it one handed as well. It is non locking so you can literally just fold it and to open it literally one handed and you're out. Very very nice bit of kit. Quite expensive, you're looking around £70 for one of these. Um, worth it if you're a huge Spyderco fan. Like I said the blade still is pretty reasonable. Um, so then, of course, we've got the old faithful Swiss Army knife. This is my Swiss Army knife. I'll just shut the uh, cork screw on it just a second. So we can stand it up. Uh, so this is the Swiss Champ model. As you can see, it's got various different implements on it. Very, very useful bit of kit. So you've got Phillips screwdrivers, can openers, main blade, um, cap lifter, screwdriver, bottle opener, magnifying glass, wood saw, metal file, scissors, scissors, don't ever underestimate scissors on a Swiss Army knife, they're without a doubt one of the most used items I have on a Swiss Army knife, I use them all the time. You've also got some pliers which to be honest they're okay for small items, you're not going to get a massive job done with them just because the jaws don't open very wide. And on the back side then you can see you've got your saw blade, small blade, you've got your corkscrew Sorry, corkscrew with a small screwdriver in it. And um, there's a couple of other little bits like um, a multi purpose hook and a chisel. You've also got uh, your toothpick, you've got your pen, small ballpoint pen, very useful. And of course, a pair of tweezers, which are brilliant. You can expect to pay around about £50 for one of these. It is UK legal, it's got a ton of different gadgets on it, very, very, very useful. Um, it's not hugely sort of overweight. It's you know you can carry it quite comfortably in your pocket. That too much issue. So that's the Victorinox Swiss Champ. Very very pleased with mine. 
If you decide to move on and you decide you want um, a multi-tool, then you're very, very limited in terms of multi-tools, purely because most of them have blades that lock open on. Um, so you've got a couple of options then, which I'll just grab. So this is the Leatherman Juice 2, S2, sorry. It's got a um, pair of scissors built in. They're not as good as the Victorinox ones, in my opinion. They're a little bit ropey. Um, but you do get uh, a main blade, which is under three inches. I won't get out because I'm holding my camera steady with one hand. Um, you also get an, a selection of screwdrivers in there. On the opposite side, then, you've got your Phillips screwdriver. And when you close the tool, if I just close it up, You've got access to your main blade and you've got a bottle opener there which you'll need to unfold to get your scissors out if I just do that quickly. Not shaking the camera too much. So you do get a pair of scissors on there as well. Um, they're quite stiff on the action and personally I'd say the Victorinox ones are far superior in that regard. So that's the Leatherman Juice S2. As you can see, mine's getting a little bit rusty at certain points there, and that's just from everyday carry. That's the problem with Leatherman stuff. It does tend to rust quite quickly, so I'm, I'm not a massive fan. I, I, don't get me wrong, I love the tools, but they do rust for a pastime. UK Legal Leathermans then. Uh, you obviously, you've got your squirt models. I do have a squirt model somewhere. They're handy for your keys. This is the Leatherman Rebar EDC. So you've got various different implements. You've got um, a file, Phillips screwdriver and a can opener. On the opposite side then you've got a few more. You've got a pair of scissors, a wood saw, and all a screwed, well two screwdrivers. All of these tools lock open. You'll notice that neither side has a blade on it. So you fold all these down without cutting your fingers. with me. Sorry about that. And then you've got your pliers. <clears throat> These got replaceable cutting heads on them as you can see. You can remove the jaws and replace those. The tool, it's um, it's not too heavy to be honest. The frame does feel like it's been stamped rather than sort of cast out of anything. It feels like it's just been pressed into shape. So this is around £80. This is Leatherman Rebar EDC. Mine did come with a leather case for it as well. Um, yeah, it does the job. These are quite hard to get a hold of for anything less than around £80. I was lucky I got mine shipped from Czechoslovakia. Paid £60 for this one. I don't think it's worth any more than that, to be honest. Um, if I am going to carry this, I'm going to have to make sure I keep it religiously clean, sort of WD-40 over it. Otherwise, it's going to rust in a matter of days. So, the other option I've got, which... To be honest, this is my most carried, most preferred item. This is a Leatherman, uh, sorry, Gerber MP600 bladeless. This is UK legal. It's got no blades on it whatsoever. So if I just run through the features with you quickly, so you've got you've got a rem grit saw there. It's a GJ4 rem grit saw. That's good for going through plastics, metal, wood. The um, the bit holder on the end for the blade. If I just show you that. That will accept any standard jigsaw size blades. You can use um, a jigsaw blade from B&Q. You can exchange it for the GJ4 ram grip blade. Uh, you've also got a Phillips screwdriver. 3D Phillips screwdriver. It's quite thick, quite chunky. You also have a tin opener there. So I'll just fold those out of the way. So on your opposite side then you've got a pair of scissors. Um, they're okay, they'll do the job. The jaws don't open very wide. You're not going to get very long cutting straights with the scissors. But if that's all you've got, then that's all you've got, they'll do. So those fold out the way. Just grab all the top. You see they fold down flat and fit flush into the handle. You've then got uh, a file, black code file. I've not used the file, to be honest. I don't think I've ever used a file on a multi-tool. So that'll go out the way, back into the handle. You've then got a small sort of screwdriver, you've got a thin one, you've got a um, slightly larger one with a bottle opener on the end of it, and you've got a big thick one, sort of uh, flat bladed screwdrivers. So the this one, all the tools close into the handle, 
and the pliers themselves then these have replaceable cutting jaws on them. I mean, you notice that they're triangular you can rotate them um, to a different section of the triangle and you've got a fresh cutting edge on your pliers there. The same on the opposite side you've got two replaceable cutting jaws. The good thing with the lever, um, Gerber sorry, is it's one handed open you'll see these two pins, you've got one either side basically what you do to close it is you pinch those points hold it upside down, just pinch it and it snakes shut to open it flick it open, one handed opening anyway I hope you find this video useful and I'm going to do one on bushcraft knives soon my name is Keith from Mountain Bear Outdoors hope to see you again soon, goodbye